Hey, welcome to So Awkward. It's me, Don, and I've got a Funko Friday episode for you here in the studio, my apartment. I just got back from Hot Topic, and I got a couple of Hot Topic uh, exclusive pops. I got the Glow in the Dark Frankenstein's Monster, and I got the Arkham Asylum Blue Cowled Batman. I know what you're thinking. How come you're not in your car? Usually I do these in my car with Jester in the parking lot right after we just bought them because we're so excited and we want to open them. But officially, winter has come to Minnesota. So my car was about 10 degrees. Uh, so we're probably not going to do too much filming in our cars until, I don't know, April. <laughs> Welcome to Minnesota. Anyway, I really wanted both of these, especially the Frankenstein. Uh, it's one of my favorite all-time horror movies. I love Frankenstein. I also love Dracula, but the Dracula pop, he's just a little goofy. He's really cute and I'm probably gonna buy him, but I like Frankenstein. I'm not gonna call him scary, but he's not as goofy as the, like it looks more like a like Count Chocula than Count Dracula. And this one glows in the dark apparently, which is pretty cool, I guess. I don't normally like the glow in the dark ones, but he, you can't tell he glows in the dark. He just looks normal. Um, and this is the only Frankenstein I've seen anywhere, so I figured I may as well get this one because he's pretty cool and he's some kind of exclusive, whatever, because he glows in the dark. Anyway, let's, um, let's check out the Batman first. When I first saw the designs for this Arkham Asylum figures, I wasn't crazy about them. I really liked the Joker, and I think I had a video where I bought the Joker and Poison Ivy. Those are both really cool. But when they finally released the Batman, I thought he looked weird. He looks big and bulky, which is fitting because he looks big and bulky in the games. But I don't know, he just looked weird. But then I saw him when he won me over. And the Hot Topic exclusive has the blue cowl and I think cape instead of black. I don't remember what he has in the game, but I don't have any blue Batman except for the uh, unmasked Batman and um, blue and gray for me are Batman's colors so I had to pick it up let's check him out I haven't opened him yet oh boy <laughs> yeah he's pretty good when you see the pictures he looks big and bulky but then when you actually get him he's a Funko so he's adorable uh, he's really detailed like he He's got like his, um, the fabric of his costume looks like some kind of netting, kind of like in the game, like the texture that he has in the games. I don't know if you can see, but he looks really cool. I like his, his, uh, his furrowed brow. He looks angry <laughs> for a Funko. This is a nice looking pop. They, um, they didn't have the black one, so I, I have no comparison except for in the picture, but I really like the blue. I think it's uh, I think it pops let's compare him to another Batman just to see if he's bigger it's about the same his horns stick up a little bit more which I like Batman should have big horns <laughs> let's see if he fits in the Batmobile that's the real question Although I don't think the Batmobile is in the games, but I don't remember. I haven't beaten either of the games. I'm not a huge fan of the games. I think they're fun to a point, but then they get kind of repetitive. <laughs> it looks pretty good. A Batman! Wait, that's the wrong one. Alfred, help me locate the Joker. I don't know what he does in the game. He's, he's always talking to Alfred. So up there is one of my favorite Batman pops. I gotta, I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest. He's really good. I like him a lot. If he had a little less texture in the body and his gauntlets were a little more subtle, he would look perfect, in my opinion. Not in comparison to the games, but in comparison to just Batman. Nice shirt. 
All right, let's uh, let's check out Frankenstein's monster, or just Frankenstein, as the box says, and as everybody calls him, although he's really just the monster. Frankenstein, we all know, is the scientist who made him, but I'm I'm fine with calling him Frankenstein. He's number one twelve in the pop movies line, but it also says monsters, and here's all the others. They look really fun. I don't know why they have the Metal Luna Mutant. I don't think he really fits with the other Universal Monsters, in my opinion. They also had the Bride of Frankenstein. She also glows in the dark, so if I really like this, I might go back and get her someday. But I'm probably going to wait till payday. Two is about my limit, especially at Hot Topic, although they are running the buy one, get one 50% off. He's pretty great. He's pretty, uh, he's perfect. He's perfect. Perfect as a pop and perfect as a Frankenstein representation. He does not look like he would glow in the dark. And I say that as a good thing because usually the glow in the dark ones look silly. Or they look like they would glow in the dark. He just looks like a pop. He's got a, you know, the scar up there and bolts. Oh, sorry, he's wearing his, uh, his sweet blazer. <laughs> He looks like Boris Karloff, which is cool. It's a nice paint job, nice detail. I love the hair. It's Frankenstein, man. It's Frankenstein. I guess we should uh, we should test to see if he glows in the dark. It's a little too bright in here. I got a light here, so we'll we'll juice him up. Give me a minute. back. Juicing them up. Is that the right term? A subtle glow. You know you can't really tell because it's too bright in here. Ah, fire. Bad. Not bad. He definitely has a nice little glow to him. It's subtle. If you're into that sort of thing, I don't really care. I picked him up just because I like Frankenstein and I like Funkos and he was the only one I saw. Um, but it is a nice little bonus if you're into that sort of thing. Anyway, I think they're pretty cool pops. I'm glad I got them and I say uh, go to your local Hot Topic and check them out. I really like the Batman. He's really cool. And if you're into classic horror, definitely check out Frankenstein. He's pretty cool. Anyway, yeah. Happy Funko Friday, everybody.